Hello and welcome to Kadoink Studios. Today we have for you another game from our friend Halloman. This is kind of a community spotlight replay as we are going to start receiving replays from the community and casting them. And this one is from my friend, um, and Halloman is a friend of his. And we saw a game before where Halloman did a proxy hatch, and it was very bizarre. So today we have Halloman spawning once again as the Red Zerg, this time on Zelnaga Caverns on the bottom left hand side, and his opponent is the Blue Protoss Cam, Cam the Man. Uh, pretty normal stuff going out of each player, we have a pylon coming up here for, for Cam, and um, it seems that Halloman is just droning up and uh, probably going to see that extractor, oh there goes the extractor. And oh no, he cancels it to do the extractor trick. For those of you who don't know the extractor trick, you put a drone down and that brings your supply down one and allows you to start another drone. But then you cancel the extractor and that allows for you to have an extra drone a little bit early. So he has that extra drone and his overlord has finished so he will not be supply blocked. We see the probe sitting here waiting to put down a gateway. Most likely, I doubt we'll see a forge first. I don't kind of, I don't suspect any kind of fast expand, fast expand. Excuse me for the, uh, for Cam. Yep. And there's the gateway. Probably gonna put down a cybernetics cord here in a minute. We have here the probe to make sure that uh, Halloman doesn't expand or to kind of push off his expand. But little does he know that that's not the, it's not the natural he's looking to expand at. We have the drone here, he's going to poke up, maybe do some scouting, and uh, I, don't, I don't really know if he's thinking at this time I'm going to do the proxy hatch, um, but I imagine he is, and he's kind of scouting around. Uh, he sees the gateway and doesn't see anything else, and uh, I believe right now he's saving up minerals as the spawning pool is just about finished, and... Uh, nope. Nope, nothing yet. Nothing from Holloman. Uh, building a queen. I think he wants to get his queen and zerglings out a little bit quicker. Uh, maybe do a push first. And There's a cyber core, as well as two more pylons going down for Cam. And, uh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I just feel it. He's, he's, just, he's just wandering around a little bit uh, suspiciously. And his money is getting a little high. I think he's going to pop down this hatchery uh, as these zerglings come. And sure enough, there it is. Gateway at uh, or hatchery at 19. Proxy hatch. He's managed to float his overlord here to get some vision. Chrono boosting out a, a zealot, which is wise, and putting down two more. Oh no, just one more gateway and a forge. Um, if he knew about this, he might not be putting down this forge. He'd be saying, "Oh shoot, I need units now." At least that's what I'd be saying. Although I am a Terran player. And uh, I haven't had this happen to me. <laughs> but his Zerglings are here. They're going to be floating around trying to defend this. We see Metabolic Boost coming for the Zerg player. Um, getting that Zergling speed up to do some additional damage as, as quickly as he can. Another Gateway coming out for Cam as his Forge finishes. Might be opting to get an upgrade, but more than likely a Cannon. I'm not actually sure. We see a Sentry here. I like this Sentry. It'll be able to force fill this ramp if it feels like they're in any deep kind of trouble, and especially if they get some uh, stalkers up, Zerglings won't be able to do very good. And there goes the sentry going to kill this overlord here, poke him out of the way with his tickle beam, and oh, here comes the Zerglings to rush in, attacking this zealot, but they know it's not going to do much good trying to push the zealot back. And uh, I don't even think, no, he doesn't even know about this hatchery, which is not good as he's not going to be able to prepare for it. Um, and boom, two spine crawlers down for Halloman. Just like in the last game, setting up those spine crawlers, and I don't really see what the Protoss player can do now, because he needs to react to this, and uh, without having that vision, he's not going to be able to, although this creep will get far enough to where he will be able to see it. And uh, for those of you who may wonder, I don't know what league these players are in, I should check, but um, it seems like some sort of cheeky... Uh, Cheeky Bronze play, however, he does manage to do it fairly well for a, uh, for cheese. Wow, he even popped up a queen. <laughs> um, oh, this is smart by Cam, he's building this, uh, Robo Bay, and if he gets 
Colossi up and get the range, he'll be able to take this out. But oh my gosh, now he sees that and he's like, ah oh, crap, and he's running in. Uh, doing the shield and oh, his zealot is stuck and it's just going to get destroyed. Very nice force field there, but it's just a little too late as enough of these zerglings have come in to do enough damage. And they're even more at the base. And uh, he's going to be able to pick off the cybernetic score as well as this gateway and these pylons. And oh, here comes three more zealots. But I don't think they're going to be enough. We see on the field there are 20, there are 31 Zerglings and two of these spine crawlers, as well as this Queen here. Um, and yeah, without that cybernetic score and without these pylons, he's going to be supply blocked and he's not going to be able to warp in any stalkers. And there's the good game. Wow. <laughs> so um, yeah, really goofy play by Howlman. Uh, if you didn't see this video, check out the other one. Or if you didn't see the other video, check it out. It was uh, essentially the same, pretty funny play for any of you Zerg players stuck in bronze you might want to give it a try but I do suggest learning how to uh, do some more straightforward less cheesy strategies all the although this this is good fun you know and uh, also if you guys have some sweet replays that you'd like me to see and if you'd like me to cast it um, send it to kadoink replays at gmail.com uh, there will be a link in the description to the email account and anyone can do it. If you have a replay, just email the replay, and I'll watch it. If it's good, if I like it, I will cast it for you, and it'll be up on YouTube. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the little cheesy hatch play, and uh, we will see you guys later. Bye.